Hi everybody, it's Tiana. Today I'm gonna show you how to draw this rabbit and how to add some lovely details. I got this idea from two art chambers on Instagram. Definitely go follow. So uh, you're gonna need a few things, a pencil, a dark Sharpie, and four colors. I chose brown and gray for the fur and then pink and blue for some pops of color. You'll also need watercolor paper and a brush and water. All right, I'm starting about a third of the way down from the top of the page. I'm doing an arc and then at the end of each point, I'm putting an oval shape with a small circle, which will be the whites of the eye. And then I'm gonna do a really big W for the jowls. And then for the nose, I'm doing a wide U shape. Then two lines down from the jowls for the body. And then an arc right in the center for the chest of the rabbit. And for the ears, I'm gonna go all the way up to the corners. I'm doing like a leaf shape or ear shape on each side and that's it I've got my dark sharpie and I am filling in one eyeball making sure not to fill in the small circle um, I'm gonna leave that white because it is the white of the eyes and then I'm gonna do the other one all right, now for the pops of color, I'm gonna start with blue. I'm going to color the inside of the eyes. I'm just scribbling along the line. I'm not being very careful. Scribbling is great for this. And I'm going to scribble just on the top of the head and on each cheek and in a couple more places um, on the body and the arc on the chest of the bunny. And then for the pink, I'm putting a little at the base of the ears and I'm shading up a little bit on each ear. This will come in handy later. I'm also gonna um, go around the nose with the pink and shade that in a little bit as well, basically making it a little thicker. And then the gray and brown, I put all around the remaining areas. Um, and then once again, I'm just scribbling all along, alternating between the colors and just filling it all in. All right, I am finishing up with the gray and brown. And now I'm ready for the water and paintbrush. So I'm dipping the brush in the water and I'm taking a little bit of the water off and then I'm going along the lines and the marker bleeds with the water and so I'm pulling that into the rabbit ear and making sure to wet the whole ear. And then I'm doing it across the forehead and you can kind of see here, I'm pulling away from the lines and getting the all of the white of the rabbit wet and you can kind of see a subtle color effect happening there looks really cool and when it's all dry it looks like the rabbit's glowing i just love this technique yeah so get all the marker lines wet and just keep pulling the color out from the marker lines and getting the entire rabbit wet and then once it's dry, it looks really cool. There you have it. 